Above the cut line, Ben Rhodes is running in the 15th spot, so he's obviously not going to get any stage points for this first stage. Sheldon Creed wins stage one here at Kentucky. You're kidding, 32. Oh, big oh, man, hit. big hit. Natalie Decker is in the 54, and Spencer Boyd in the 20. Also, Jordan Anderson involved. Man, that 20 is torn Let's up. What happens here? He's in the middle of the screen, the orange track. He's going to dip below Decker in the 54, bounces up just wasn't quite clear nope. of Natalie and she was holding her line and they clipped uh, they clipped Boyd into that outside wall. Yeah, can't really. Man, that 20 is torn up. We'll see what ha happens here. It's Johnny Sauter and that oh. 13 truck and around goes the 42 of Finley. Yeah, no contact there, just, uh, just got out from under him. Some heavy damage. To the rear for Chad Finley. And near contact with Burton's right front. And now Burton goes around and he's going to collect the cover. Johnny Sauter's in that. That was the 12th truck as well. Looks Johnny Sauter kept going. Maybe minimal damage maybe to Johnny's truck, but uh, not so fortunate for the 12 of Gus Dean. I thought there was a lot of contact by Johnny Sauter. And, and side by side go he and Burton. And ultimately that leads to Burton, I think, getting a little too loose right there with Brett Moffitt. But he had Brett there and, and, and Brett probably didn't realize that they were three wide at that point. You see the contact there from the 12. I think Sauter Justine. got through there clean. I think he did too. You see the 34 of Balicki also made contact. That's just an aggressive start by Ross Chastain. We see it all the time in the truck series. Three and four wide on these starts and Harrison just ran out of room, was on the inside of Moffitt. Truck got loose and Johnny Sauter. I'm not sure he made any contact or loss of track position, but that's maybe about it. I think initially, maybe right there, he oh, ran yeah, into you the can back. Oh, yeah, you can see the hood buckle up a little bit. Yeah, he ran into the back of Gus Dean. Truck and to grab a couple spots. Stewart frees it inside the top. Oh, oh and there's, there's Enfinger and Jones hard into the wall. Running one and two. Benji talked about running hard to try to get these stage points, but... That sure looked unnecessary there. Yeah, in finger, he got loose on the bottom, Phil. He dove on, on the inside of Jones, got loose, and then the two got together and just never got apart. Well, I can't believe Brandon Jones is going to be very happy with Grant Infinger after that incident. No, that's, uh, you're exactly right. That that was just a an aggressive move that maybe we'll look back on it and say I could have been a little smarter there will grant his you see right there Phil he just got loose down on the bottom but they, that, that actually I think in finger got loose even before that entering the corner and they they bumped and and then it just right here he's down out of that traction compound Brandon Jones is in a traction compound as you mentioned Michael he just got loose and he needed more room and unfortunately the 51 truck was there had Brandon Jones not been there he would have been fine he could have used that whole racetrack and, and made it fine this was the beginning of the end right here that gun he gunned it through the middle slid up loose they just got hooked together nice job up was that Ben Rhodes there slipping yeah. through that was a near miss for that and young man Cody Roba also with that nine truck doing a nice job of avoiding it. turned 18 in March he has led the most laps tonight, and it was no fluke. What an upset. Tyler Ankrum wins at Kentucky. David Gillen, co-owner of that team, so excited about getting this victory. Going to victory lane with 18-year-old Tyler Ankrum. Turn one, and then again trying to avoid in turn three and four. Oh, boy. And into the wall in four, we see the nine. 99, a lot of damage. 78, come up underneath of you. That's Avila. And the right front of that car destroyed. Coming. That one, unfortunately, has hit every. Don't stop there. You can take that one all the way back. Kill. See these cars, they looks like they make contact right here, and then he starts to get loose and overcorrects and big impact. Good racing. Yes. And second lane, man, it's ready. So it was Bell and Cindric, Allgaier, 
Reddick, Brandon Jones, the top position. Five. Again, Cindric in the 22, Haley in the 11. Oh, and oh. up the racetrack, contact made! Cindric sideways, coming out of turn yeah, four. Tag the back That's end of that right car into the wall, but that brings the caution out again. The 11 of Haley, he got in the wall as well on the exit of turn four. Just was talking about the patience he was showing. Down and there, he's loose already. Now he's just got to chase it up the racetrack. You know, he just overdrove the entry just a little bit. So easy to do. But then what? Haley, I'm not sure how much damage he got. He got lucky that Cindric saved it a couple times, or it would have been an instant spin for the 11 2. The 11 has enough damage. He's coming to pit road as we look at these replays. I think you have to come to pit road with how hard he hit him in the left rear tire, and then, oh boy. Sliding through the smoke. Remember, Haley. Only a two-tire stop for Haley that last right. time by. Yeah, and, and and I like the two-tire call. I saw last night in the truck race, two tires worked really, really well. But you said it at the top of the show. Trunks have more downforce. Cup cars have more downforce. These cars drive the worst. I was with you. I like the call. I'm not guessing it now. What we've learned is the lack of downforce needs those four tires, I think, to be competitive. Look at this shot. He knows, he's, he knows he's up the racetrack. Hey, coming here, good. Hang on to it, hang on to it. Uh, hey, right right here. Here. Come on. Here. Been a little bit of a struggle after the first part of the year. Oh, Speaking and that's Ronnie struggles. Bassett around, yep. Ronnie Bassett Jr. goes around in the 90. That's the fourth caution that has come out. Here's got pick up the, the pace car's got to pick up the leader right here. Just try to get going as best you can here. And left rear definitely down on the 90. Looks like he's on the apron, trying to get back to pit yeah. road. Dangerous, though. Always get scared when I see a car spin back up on the racetrack like that. Very fortunate nobody also was thought Reddick had a better mile-and-a-half program. They needed to go to work. Well, they've gone to work so far tonight. Stage one winner, and now stage two winner. Christopher Checker. Bell gets the green and white checkered flag. John Hunter Nemechek and Chase Briscoe will fight for positions. The final point that you get as far as stage points top 10 all get points and it's going to go to john hunter Nemechek. Had gotten by harvick oh we got oh, a crash over here four. sideways goes to 32 of corey lajoy and that brings out the caution wow no contact doesn't look like there's any damage there tires down oh, they're up right now i can feel caution comes out does that mean more pit strategy we'll find out on the other side of the break Trying to get Eric Amarillo for six and a caution, Rick. Caution has come out. And looks like the double zero of Landon Castle with an issue. Big break for Ryan Blaney here. This is going to get him the lucky dog and back in this race. Down. Oh, and you see two cars sideways. Yeah, they were sideways early in the corner. 51 of Bailey Curry also was sideways. With Castle, had, Castle. Excuse me, Rick Castle had just pitted the top off for fuel. That's why he was in the very He's going to steal this stage win away from Kurt Busch. He'll get the win in stage one. So Kevin Harvick did get by Ricky Stenhouse Jr. 19 of Truex. Zero tires for Kurt Busch on the pit stop. Paid Man. off. Yeah, the free pass. The free pass goes to the highest scored driver. One lap down. All right, green checker, you're pedaling. And there was the green and white checker. Kyle Bush wins stage two. So the Bush brothers have dominated in Kentucky. Kurt Bush won stage one. Kyle Bush stage Coming two. Back. Oh, wait a minute. We got an issue. A slide by 48. Jimmy Johnson sideways will stay here. He's got some damage to that right rear. He's made contact with something. He was seven. Right rear tire is down. Oh, man. Uh, right yeah. side of the car. All right side. Heavy damage. You mentioned it, Junior. Definitely contact. The quarter Final panel. Fella. Boy, loose the back. Just gets really loose. And they're going so fast. In full throttle. There's no way of saving that. Yeah, it's the center of the corner speed is so fast with this package. As you said, they use so much throttle. And when you lose grip, you lose a ton of it, and you lose it fast. And Jimmy just never could catch up. What a disappointing ending for these guys. Had a really good run going. I think it shows, though, man, even though we've got these big spoilers on the back of these cars and these guys got all this downforce, they're still on edge. They are still on edge. you got a seven-time champion here having issues, losing grip.
Yeah, to make them go fast with this with this package, you have to be loose. You have to make it the back of the car, not stuck. Rick wanted to give you a quick update on Eric Jones ever since that oh, last pit stop. Oh, trouble. 43 of Bubba around. He's bought a right rear tire on that car. Six laps to go, and the caution comes out. A restart coming out. Things around early in the corner. Did a good job not having the wheels too far to the right, but having them far enough to the right not to hit this inside wall too hard. He must have felt that tire going down or something going into. Yeah, watch here. Yeah, he feels it right there. The tire comes apart on the straightaway. Lucky for him. He's able to slow it down and keep it out of fence. Well, that's really, really good driving. I mean, purpose to the outside. Kyle Busch gets the lead. Here comes the 20 of Eric Jones. Jones on the inside. He'll try to take the lead as they go down the back stretch. Kyle sidetracked and his brother Kurt. That could be all Jones needs. Can he? Oh, look at Kyle Busch drive it down into turn three. Can he hold it? Four wide and into the wall. Down that the was Chase Elliott. Side by side. Here comes Kurt Busch. He Wait takes the lead away from his brother. But now Kyle Busch fighting back. Contact made as they go into one. The Bush brothers oh, side by tired. side. Tire tired. rub by Kurt Busch. Kyle Busch now fighting on the inside. Once again, Kurt Busch making that outside line work. What does Jones do here if these two get together? Coming out of turn four. Kurt Busch with the advantage. Kyle Busch slides. Kurt Busch will win. What a finish. <laughs> that was real. That was awesome. That's how you do it, Woo! Hey, think about this team. Think about what happened to that team last week. Sitting there leading the race, pitted, lightning came out. Then they come back this week and win the race. That is redemption.